The Speaker of Lithuania's Parliament, Victoria Chimalite Nielsen, is in Taiwan on a four-day tour. President Tsai Ing-wen hosted her and her delegation at a luncheon on Monday. At the event, Tsai thanked Lithuania for supporting Taiwan on the international stage. The Lithuanian speaker also sat with Vice President Lai Qingde, who voiced hope for further bilateral exchanges. Wearing a blue blazer is Victoria Chimalite Nielsen, Speaker of the Lithuanian Parliament, who's leading a delegation to Taiwan. On Monday, President Tsai Ing-wen hosted a luncheon for the delegation. They discussed matters related to security in the Indo-Pacific and trade ties between Taiwan and Lithuania. In addressing the changing geopolitical landscape, Taiwan continues to leverage the Central and Eastern European Investment Fund to bolster economic and trade ties with Lithuania. And this July, Lithuania published its Indo-Pacific strategy, in which it stated that it is seeking to enhance practical cooperation with Taiwan. In turn, Lithuania has a lot to offer, particularly our sectors of technology and innovation are advancing rapidly, and we could well become uh, Taiwan's gateway to Europe. In recent years, Taiwan and Lithuania have only grown closer. In 2021, the two sides agreed to the establishment of a Taiwanese representative office in Vilnius, which became the first in Europe to feature the word Taiwanese in its official name. The office is now an important bridge between Taiwan and Europe. The Lithuanian speaker also met with Vice President Lai Qingde. As hegemony expands in the South and East China Seas and in the Indo-Pacific region, taking action to support Taiwan is tremendously meaningful. Recently, Lithuania's foreign ministry released its Indo-Pacific strategy, stressing the goals of security, resilience and prosperity. We look forward to stronger cooperation between Taiwan and Lithuania. Lai thanked Lithuania for taking concrete action in support of Taiwan. The Lithuanian delegation has a four-day itinerary in Taiwan and is scheduled to visit the Legislative Yuan on Tuesday to deepen bilateral exchanges.